Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adale, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, if you will, take your Bibles and turn with me to Romans, Romans chapter 15. And let's look at verse number 30 as a text verse of Scripture. Now notice what the Bible says here. Now I beseech you, brethren, from the mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ's sake and for the love of the Spirit that you strive together with me in your prayers to God for me. And certainly I would pray that God would add his great blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee. And a fresh word from God. Today, friends, I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled, Intercession. You know, in the sentencing phrase of a trial, the judge will often allow individuals to address the court to influence the judge's decision about the sentence. Some are there to ask for a harsh sentence, but others are there out of love. They understand the need for justice but they are also there to ask for the mercy and fairness of the court. Now, friends, listen, those are complicated situations, but unconditional love will always try to intercede. Think of Jesus on the cross. Beloved, he was totally innocent. His killer's totally guilty. Yet out of love for his enemies, he interceded. Jesus asked God to forgive them. But intercession is about more than forgiveness. It is about asking God to do what we can't do. Paul asked the Roman church to pray through the love of the Spirit for his protection when he traveled to Jerusalem. The church in Rome couldn't protect Paul themselves, but out of love they prayed that God would protect the great apostle. There are many ways to express love to others. Perhaps, my friend, the most sacrificial way is to pray for God to bless, to pray for God to protect, and to pray for God to provide for those we love. Think about this, and if you can, be sure to pray for those you love. Let us pray together. Father, we thank you for intercession. For those who took the time to pray for me whenever I went through my time of illness, Lord, you heard their prayers. 
And I constantly run into people who say, Preacher, how are you doing? I just want you to know I've been praying for you. I thank you for people who pray. And help us always remember that we need to pray one for another. Lord, I ask that you bless, Lord, all of those who may take the time to listen to the devotion today, to provide care for them, and that you might bless them. And we'll give you praise and thanks for it. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Well, friends, I pray the devotion's been a blessing to you today. And if the devotion blessed you, you bless someone else by sharing it with them, remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in and have a wonderful Lord's Day.